What's up, world? It's your boy, Sandman, Mr. Sam44 Man, YouTube, Facebook. It's been a real trying day trying to launch this little program that I'm doing, Detroit Raw. I know today was the first day of shooting and uh, kind of got a little hot. I mean, real, real, real hot with this issue because I'm. I'm real sick and tired of seeing everything that's going on and you know nobody is really telling us what we need to do everybody is saying spin 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 give up give up give up give up more let's keep those police on the streets oh my god crime is out of control but when you're around an environment and there's nothing going on with dread and drought and just devastation period it, 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 it gives you a sense of anger because I love Detroit it's, it's my home it's where I was born it was where I was raised back in 1966 Detroit has changed so so much when I watched the people that were here and I, I, I watched the people that are now coming here, it seems to be a, a sense of a switch, a sense of a change, a sense that uh, if you're black, we're going to make it so high for you to live here that you will go elsewhere. And if we don't want you here, we're going to make it so high for you that your federal assistance, your government assistance, none of that assistance will be beneficial to you at all because of the simple fact that, um, you know, we getting ready to come down here and take over. You know, you got them down here. Take a look. That's the shit I'm talking about. They're comfortable now. Everybody comfortable. Come on down to Detroit. Throw a couple of bodies down here. You know what I'm saying? Murder a couple of people. And then from Jefferson to say about maybe the boulevard, y'all kind of safe with police protection. Go figure. I don't feel no more protected than I do feel protected if I'm on Dexter, if I'm on Linwood, if I'm on Grand River. If I'm on Gratiot, if I'm on Jefferson, if I'm on Springle, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm Detroit. I go to the little outskirts at times because I have to. You make it so that we don't have a Walmart, you know. We don't have all those big luxury places. They don't come down here. They don't support our community. We got major stadiums down here. We got Comerica Park. Ford Field, Joe Louis Arena. We even hold conventions and, and auto shows at Cobo Hall, Detroit. We have the parade here every year. We have the, all the world festivals, but we broke. I mean, we don't even have the basics. We don't have street cleaners. We don't have guys that come out here and, 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 and clean the clean the lots yeah I was mad and I was very very and still very upset I didn't calm down the sun is going down and I'm chilling for a minute like I said I didn't look at all this footage that you will be seeing this evening and I'm gonna have it out there and for those of you that like it I give you more of Detroit Raw those of you that don't like it like I said you don't have to tune into my channel but I know you like it, I know it's interesting, and I know it makes you say, hmm, that cat is right. You know, I'm not here to, to bring no uproar. I'm not here to, to start nothing with nobody. But all I'm saying is this. If my kid walks to school and is attacked, hurt, or killed in the process, 
is that a normal life for a black man or is that a normal life for a person that live in the city of Detroit? If a mother loses her son to gun violence just because of gang matter, out of all these vacant houses, we can't put these kids to work, make them clean up. There's no program, no governmental program, no state program, no money, nowhere. But the economy is coming up. That's what we hear all day in the news. The economy is coming up. We're gonna be all right. Some people go for anything. And some won't go for nothing at all. You can't just tell me anything and I'm looking around. That's like, it's like me being blind with my eyes open. I mean, my eyes are open. I can see. I may have little glasses to help me visionize, but I can see. It's not cool the way we're being portrayed, America. That's all I'm saying. Out of fairness. If the Emancipation Proclamation was legitified, we might be all right. If civil rights was legitified, we might be all right. Why we gotta wait 50 more years to get a valid, valid, valid ability to vote? Why? These are just questions that my parents taught me that if you don't know, ask somebody. And I'm asking all these people that sit here and say that they know. All these MSNBC and knowledges and analysts and charts and graphs and, and, and all these depictions of how the world is in your community. What I just showed you today, this is my community and everybody that lives around the city of Detroit. Only remember now, the city of Detroit starts on Jefferson and it ends at 8 Mile. And we don't even count you East Point because you used to be East Detroit, remember? Till you wanted no parts of us. So, beat it. We don't care about nobody that was a part of this that want to branch off and then when something happens and it becomes good up in here, then you want to bring your happy ass galloping from your where to come here. That's what pisses me off. What pisses me off is I go to my riverfront where I can go right now and have a front row seat to observe the peacefulness of the water in Canada. But if I got a goddamn auto show or a motherfucking uh, 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 hydroplane race down there or an air show, you want to come down on our riverfront, us being citizens, and block our shit off. Prevent us from participating in something that should be free. But you want to come down here, chart, get your revenue, Grand Prix, same damn thing. If I'm lying to you people, then I'm just a person that's running off at the mouth. But it's somebody out there, somebody famous and somebody non-famous that is watching me and saying, you know what, Sam, man, you keeping it real and you keeping it raw. I check your messages and I also tell everyone that gives me a rating, whether good or bad, thank you for watching. My name is Sam, man, y'all. Mr. Sam 44 Man on YouTube. Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, Social Cam. I'm out here, y'all. I'm all over the internet. I never wanted to make it like that. And it was never my intent. But somebody inspired me to change some things. And they said to me, Sanford, if you really, really, really serious about this, you lead off the change. Once you start off with the change, then other people will follow. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, I'm making my change. What's happening, little fella? So, you know, we need to reach our kids out here. We need to show them the right way. We need to stop being trifling. 
mean this. Stop half-assing it. I know it's hard out here trying to put everything together and then you got to work and a lot of the single mamas out there, you don't have no man. He locked up, he dead, he in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? These kids just don't have a good break. But just because they don't have a good break don't mean that they can't be good kids. If you show them. I have footage of kids that just wanted to become lawyers, judges, even participate in being the victim and the suspect, district attorney and prosecutors. I'll show you that in due time later. If anybody want to check my stats, or want to check my pedigree, like I said once again, Mr. Sam 44 Man, on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google Plus, and Social Cam. Check my pedigree out. Check my resume. Even comment on it. I welcome it. I'm a serious person. I laugh. I smile. But I'm a serious cat. And I'm serious about this, y'all. I ain't never been so serious in my life. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired of watching this foolishness and not being able to say nothing. I'm tired of going on Facebook and looking at this foolishness. 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 That goes on. Bullshit. I see a couple of y'all picking up on my style. Got your videos rolling a little longer. Doing your own show. That's what I'm talking about. Do you. Do your thing. It's about you. city and I just want people I just want people to understand that black men are intelligent we're not idiots we can uh, do things and therefore we can um, make something Ourselves. Like I said, you know, I know hardship. You know, I've been to prison. I know, I, I know that I'm discriminated about. It doesn't matter how much I make. I still get used. Right now, my lawyer is telling me to pay a lawyer that I fired for injustice because he didn't serve me right didn't represent me and my family accordingly wasn't professional but I can't get my day in court because the judge feels like that this black man money or no money shouldn't be wasting her time on her docket this is a city of Detroit judge ladies and gentlemen shame on you judge and I ain't even gonna put your name out there but you know the deal cause my lawyer told me you will not even allow me the opportunity to address the issue because you're gonna take sides there's a white man and a black man in courtroom what side is the judge gonna take even if she's black Because we, we got all them kind of people up in our places. We got all them kind of people downtown. Yapping, yapping, yapping. And talking, talking, talking. And ain't producing, producing, producing. Hell, I didn't produce more videos in the last 30 days than I believe they didn't probably did work. This is real, y'all, to me. All the way. city of Detroit I think I'm entitled to that because the city of Detroit is my home and I don't like the way people are portrayed but before you look at that man while you're sitting in your suburban homes and judgmental 
about look at him he just wanted to run in a store and just rob them no he didn't he just wanted to get a few dollars splurge buy a little bag of weed maybe buy a little something for his family to survive when you start thinking on them principles, maybe you might start having a little compassion. But seeing that we live in a non-compassionate world, and we stigmatate everything, and we got people just as dark as me, that are acting just as white as anybody in this, in this world that hates black people. Because let's keep it real, we got enough racism in this world to, 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 to build them out. You're throwing it in our faces every day on TV. Here's the clan. Here's these these militias. Here's this new party. The fruitcake party or whatever the hell they call. When we had the Black Panther Party, you ran their asses out of town. These are the things that you ask yourself. Why should this man be saying this? Or why should this man be mad? This is why. I got the right to because it affects me and affects my sons who are going to be men in this world. I want a better world for them. Fuck me. I'm going to live mine and I'm going to do what I do. But I want a better I want a better world for my sons. Who you already going to stigmatize, who are you already going to deny the opportunities, who are already going to try to hold back and set back and do everything to prevent him from making it. That's why his daddy's still in his life. Both of their lives. Since day one. The ignorance that we got going on out here makes no sense. Our children have no respect for us. You got mamas out there in the clubs with the daughters. Teaching them the tricks and trade of tricking. Got daddies meeting the sons off in the penitentiary. All these type of things is what we got going on in our community. No jobs, no hopes. Just wandering. A little kid just walked by me just a second ago. Just so you can see what I'm doing with this camera. I'm sitting on my car talking to you all around the world. People want to know. People tell me, hey, Sam, man, I see you over here. I see you over there. You out there shooting your video. You doing your thing. Yes, I am. Because the Sandman exists. So when your punks fall in, because I'm getting ready to put you out there. And you better get it together. You better start holding these people that's got these properties accountable. These people are running around here got these homes that people and citizens are living in that are horrible. Management is shit. And nobody's getting a fair shake. And nobody should be mad. This is Sam, man, y'all. Got a call coming in. I want y'all to get back with me tomorrow. I'm going to finish this editing. Y'all check it out tonight. Let's get it together, people. I'm saying.